Welcome to Eat Treat Love. Come on in. Here are my personal recommendations for manifesting love. We have our Rose Quartz Lavender Diffuser. Hmm, this is our top seller. A wonderful crystal rose quartz sphere that you can just feel all the energy of love. And of course, for the candle lovers, we also have it here. Rose quartz points is the number one thing that you should have at your home. And that's my personal recommendations for manifesting love. Visit us online or visit us at e Love in Los Angeles. Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. Um, this reading, let me explain how it works. I'm using two decks over here that are explicit. It's the Erotic Fantasy and the Tarot of SEX. This will be revealed. This is my Grand Reveal cards in the Extended. I'll be using the uh, Angel Dylan Wee and the Deviant Moon for this reading um, in YouTube. And then this one is in the Extended. This one also is gonna be in the Extended. Those are my favorite and together with this one at the same time, um, the oracle. So let's begin. This reading is not for everyone, okay? So I don't suggest everybody to watch Tarot. So let's begin over here. Let's see. I sense a countdown. I sense a change. I sense, I sense, I don't know, a barber. <laughs> Maybe you're a barber. But in my country, we don't like what we call cuentong barbero, no? Oh, meaning someone is uh, uh, lying to you or you're lying to someone. But someone is in denial. There you go. Or, yeah, I, let me see. Because that's what I'm feeling for you right now here. Someone is not being honest. Okay. You have the world card, long distance relationship, far from you. Let me see. You have a King of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, the Six of Cups. The cards here are different. Mm -hmm. Now, you are, Gemini, you have here, a lot of people wants to be around you with the King of Wands. With the world, you could be well-traveled. With the world, you could have a foreign job. You're moving. A lot of passion with the King of Wands. Um, this is you. You're a go-getter. Okay, so this is amazing. This is a very amazing card. You're famous. You're successful. People look up to this world card. You have accomplished so many things in your life. Okay? Now, this king of wands right here is still you. Your masculine energy comes out over here. Um, Gemini's our masculine sign. Mm -hmm. Just in case you guys didn't know. Okay, <laughs> Taurus is feminine, and then Cancer is feminine, so it's odd even. So you're a go-getter, okay, with the King of Wands. I see it, I want it, I get it. I'm driven, I'm motivated, I got it. So this is your mantra. Nothing stops me. Nothing holds back. You know, nothing. You're not really looking for anything. Page of Pentacles with the Six of Cups over here. Um, it feels that there is someone who I feel like can be younger looking at you right now. But this is playing with fire. And I'd rather you not play with fire so you don't get burned. Because the Six of Cups over here is playing with the devil. Okay? So this is a karmic situation that you probably should ignore. King of Wands. Because you're not looking at them. But I'm pretty sure the King of Wands is tempted also. Because this is temptation right here, okay? But let me see what, why the Six of Cups, because this is playing with the devil. And everybody knows that this this person right here, Page of Pentacles, has a, way, has a way with words, okay? Now, this is not someone who's trying to apologize to you to get back with you, but it's up to you. If you have an ex who's trying to message you, then that's that one. But let's see the Six of Cups then. Discard of soulmate, reconciliation, deep connection. What is it really? And this person has a message for you with the Page of Pentacles. What did this person want to tell you? These are my grand reveal cards. I answer a lot of questions in the extended, okay? So with the king of wands over here, you are very, very focused, okay? And this right here becomes the temptation of your focus, okay? 
Let me see them. Because hmm. nothing is bothering you right now. You're fine. You're good. You have the Hierophant. Ooh, you have the Six of Pentacles. You got the Two of Wands and the Four of Cups. Interesting. Okay. Um. To be honest, I don't know if you are connected to a Taurus. This person, Four of Cups to the Six of Cups, they don't. A lot of people, because there's a market right now for soulmate, right? Everybody's about their soulmate. If there's a market for everyone is into their soulmate, there's a market for people who are anti-soulmate, right? <laughs> mm, exactly. So Four of Cups to the Six of Cups, this person finds it like, eh, yeah, you know, soulmate, eh, Four of Cups, you see that. Mm -hmm. Six of Pentacles here. If you try to reach out to this person, because look at that, you want the partnership. You want the the be all, the her, the higher effect, right? Um, you want a stable relationship. You want to connect. So let's just see your message. Six. Of, let me see what it will happen if you message this person, because you're the one reaching out, Gemini. Mm -hmm. You're the one reaching out. Okay. So you're the one reaching out to this person. Now, this person has things that ha they have been hiding. You see that? They're digging some stuff here. So it feels like they're covering their tracks. So let me see. I don't know if they're still connecting with their ex and they don't want you to know that they have attachment to that. But there are things where this person saying, Gemini is like, what you don't know won't hurt you. So let me see what they're trying to prevent you from finding out. Okay. Four of Cups right here is, I don't like this card in this deck because it looks like, eh, I'm not satisfied. I'm not happy. I don't care. You know, it's like they go through people like, I don't know how, I mean, like, I don't know. They go through people like an underwear. I don't know. They keep changing with the Four of Cups. Next. So they keep looking for a soulmate, but they don't believe in the soulmate. They don't believe in that soul tie. So it's always next, next, next. So this person has been hiding, basically, who are the next? Meaning there's next. You're one of the next. So you're an option to them. Let me see. Ace of Swords. So you want to communicate, right? Ace of Cups. Oh, the Lord, Gemini. You're finding, you're looking at yourself. He's like, I want to talk. Um, this is through love. Ace of Swords. This is how you're feeling. Ace of Swords with Ace of Cups. This is the love of my life. My existence is, okay, all right. We're going we're gonna to go there. You're someone of a Taurus today. Okay, I see. So Ace of Swords, I want to talk to them about my feelings. I want to open up. Let me see. The hangman and the set ah yeah so they're not like that <laughs> seven of wands over here they're not even emotionally available seven of wands they're very protective they're a hangman they they probably will entertain you but they're stuck you know with who not with you they have someone that they're stuck with and this is when I feel like they had someone for the past year or two, and that's who they still want. Mm -hmm. So they haven't gotten over that. And you're here, like you're over everyone. <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> with the world card because I'm done with everyone. I'm just looking for something real. So Ace of Swords right here. Let me see um, your real feelings, you know, for this person because you're going to message them, right? Then let's see what's their response because Seven of Wands over here. This person is about to set some boundaries between the two of you. Like, listen, you've been messaged, you've been calling, this and that. Seven of one sec. They're about to tell you why they cannot talk to you. Let me see who are they stuck with also. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah. So, seven of one to the hangman. Yeah. It's uh, telling, you know, they're about to tell you something that will enlighten the situation. Okay, I'm not sure how you will process this. You have the Knight of Cups. You have the Three of Cups. Okay, so I sense a downplay. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just cool. Three of Cups. I'm just looking for fun. Okay. So now we're trying to save face. You know, first you're in love. So what is it really, Gemini? Because I'm about to strangle you. Okay. When we love, we love, we go. But Sal, I just don't want to look stupid. I understand. Okay. But in love, everyone is stupid. 
No kings. All mortals are. Mm -hmm. You have two of wands. Oh, they got choice. And the six of wands. Choices and options again. Six of wands. Seven of wands with the six of wands. I feel like they're going to tell you about something um, like relationship-wise. Two of wands about their choices. Let me see what are their choices that they will tell you. They're opening up to you though with the two of wands. They will tell you. It can be long distance because it can be far. Mm -hmm. um, I sense here with the Knight of Cups, you want to be vulnerable. You want to give it all. You see here? You want to give love me, talk to me, message me, call me, hire a friend. Deesh. And this person right here is like, um, Page of Pentacles, I'm looking at the other side. Two of Wands, like, I have things that I need to tell you. Two of Wands, I just don't know when. Six of Wands, they're ready. So let me continue this reading as they're ready to tell you everything. I'm going to do the grand reveal of all those cards underneath. Um, thank you very much, guys, for watching. Bye.